Hey, welcome back to more Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. Uh, apparently Momo and Nina haven't heard of uh, personal space. They're all up in my grill. Uh, in the last one, by the way, we... The hell did we do? Oh, we got the ship parts that we needed. Uh, it took a long... I mean, it took kind of a long time, but I, it also we didn't spend a huge amount of time either. I found most of them. Decided to go back for one thing, and then also I thought that the one uh, piece was going to be behind a door. It said it was locked from the other side. There's got to be some way to get in there, right? Maybe you have to go back with Momo and maybe you can blast it open? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, usually it gives some kind it would say like... I'm pretty sure we've used Momo to uh, her gun or whatever, her cannon. Uh, there's a few places with cracks in the wall that we can uh, bust open. And uh, there's a place, there was that, that door panel in the, uh, in the plant where it was like... Outer Sea, you sure about that? Where it said it was rusted and loose. And I uh, was able to do that, so if it's locked on the other side and there's no way to get around to it, then I don't know what else to try other than uh, Momo's thing. I don't know. You should talk it over with everyone first. I think you should go fuck yourself. Alright, apparently Mr. Zig here is going to be fucking telling us what to do. Uh, cross the sea to meet with God. Even the Urkan would never have dreamed of such a thing possible. Something tells me that crossing the sea isn't going to be easy. There's a reason why no one's done it before, right? Alright, is Momo going to be down here? Yes, alright. I don't know how far it is to the other side, but the engine's running fine, so don't worry about that. Okay, I am worried about punctuation at the end of uh, some of these sentences. Golly, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of missing periods at the end of sentences. Okay, fucking sleepy peepee -pee again. The wind feels so good, doesn't it, Tom? If by wind you mean my penis, then yes. I wonder what it's like on the other side of the ocean. It's like that episode of uh, South Park, uh, where it's like, if the... Oh shit, how, does it, how did it go? If the latter is an eight-year-old boy, and and heaven is my penis, then like you want to take the latter to heaven, or something like that. I think I said it backwards. I don't exactly remember how it goes. Yeah, it doesn't want me to save in the middle of this uh, scene or whatever. All right. Yeah, ready? Jeez. Which way are we heading? Uh, the, whatever fucking... Across the ocean? I already told you I was going, and you told me to talk to everybody. Suppose I should tell you, no one who's been out there has ever returned alive. Then how do you know they made it out there? I guess they made it out to the sea, not to the other side, necessarily. Are you sure you still want to go? Man, I thought you were the best fucking sailor, so... Quit being a chicken shit. Well then, you're in good hands. Old Zig here's best captain in Rapala. Oh, I, did, I thought I didn't know you were a captain. I thought you were just a sailor. No, in the world, if anyone can get you across the sea, I can. Well, if nobody's ever been to the other side of the world, how do you know there's not a better captain sailor dude over there? Who else would be crazy enough to try? Okay, so am I controlling Zig now because I can steer the ship? I am, okay. Oh yeah, we can also camp out here, apparently? Alright. Okay, we can also use turbo for a moment. Let me just see what happens when you burn it out. Let me just get punished for a second, alright. It's not a big deal. Oh, let's go to that... Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that! No! I meant to check the question mark, obviously. Come on, game, I thought that was obvious. Okay, I guess we're going... Actually, I think this is going to be where we're not going to be able to make it, and then they're going to tell us, like, oh, you need to upgrade your uh, engine or something, I don't know. Are we actually going to make it? Well, I'm... Eh. Oh, man. It's too much! Should break up, you better go back. Do I get a bigger boat, I wonder? Do I actually get the black ship at some point? Do I get to pilot that motherfucker? That's kind of ringing a slight bell. I could be wrong, though. Hey, Mr. Uh, best uh, Sailor in the World. Uh, Mr. Best Captain in the World. Why didn't you, uh, yeah. Ever imagine me that bad? 
I didn't never imagine you'd be such a big fucking pussy. I know I told you if anyone could get there, I could. But I don't know if we can do it in this boat. Alright, fair enough. At least he, like, acknowledged the shit that I was, uh, saying, you know. I was just, like, giving him flack, and then he's like, I know I said it, but, and I was wrong, I guess. So at least he acknowledged it. What, is she, like, pushing on a wall or something? What the hell? Are you trying to say we should, uh, give up trying to get across? That's not what he said. He said we can't do it in this boat. He didn't say give up. Quit putting words in his mouth. If the best sailing Rapala can't do it, what are we supposed to do then? Sorry, I guess I just don't have what it takes. Why did his arms get like way smaller now? He doesn't look as buff as when he's um when he's flexing. Yeah, you're not the legendary mariner, mariner. Would you take us across the ocean? It's not quite like that. We sailors have a legend about a sailor living here on the inner sea who came here from the other side of the ocean. But it's just a legend, a story. I would like to play one RPG where something that's just like a myth or a legend or a story actually ends up not being true. Okay, tell us about him. But he's not real, so... But wait, it's, a, it's an RPG, so it's gonna be, always be real. All the myths and legends and whatnot are always fucking true. I don't really know much about him. That would drive the that would drive the R, the players like the RPG like community crazy trying to figure out what it means. But then it'd be funny if the game devs were finally just like, but they said it was just a myth. So sometimes myths are just not true, you know. And then everybody would be like trying to unlock it and checking like breaking the game open or whatever and like checking the data for like the files of of the thing or whatever. This little town north of Rapala called Parch. The mayor there, yeah, the mayor there uh, might know something, maybe. Okay. Parch it is then. For the possible, maybe, info about the thing that doesn't exist. Okay, boy, that sounds like a great lead, huh? Let me know when you're ready to go. Why would I not be ready to go right now? There's nothing else to do on this boat. Except smash Nina, obviously, but you know what I mean. Uh, okay, let's try to be a little more, more careful. There we go. Is there going to be like a gene or something? Maybe a wisdom fruit? The hell? Go to make some headway if you could read the currents better. Oh. Oh boy, I remember this is a mini game that's freaking fun. I don't remember what it... Is that actually what you have to do to cross, I wonder? I remember that being fun as shit, but not really. Yeah, see, it's different over here. Probably can't make it in this boat. Oops, I have to... Every time I move one square, I probably have to see it a couple more times. Damn it. Okay, so... I think I have to get a map. That'll let me, uh... That'll let me read it. Let me just check around here. I don't think there's anything here. I think I'm gonna have to uh, to do that to progress. Is it, I have to? Do I have to do that to find the legendary sailor? I wonder. Parch, boy, I don't remember this town at all. I don't. I don't know if there's. Hopefully, there's like a weapon shop. I guess I don't have that much money, but it'd be nice to just uh, that ship, that ship. Nice little reference. To, uh, what's his face? So we go, Deep Lane, Deep Lane. I actually never saw that show. I just heard of a pop culture reference. Uh, this here would be called Parch, just a teeny little town. We all fishermen here, and that's all, that's all we, that's all we, that's, okay, what the hell? And that's all we alls eats, okay. We just stuck an extra alls in there, that's why that sentence didn't make sense. Okay, what's up, Chicky Poo? Oh man, she's like wearing just like a like a slip or something. Uh, this one here heard the story of the legendary mariner. It got it into his head to go off to the outer sea, but everyone knows that an inner sea boat can't go out there to the outer sea. Well, if nobody has ever been across the outer sea, why do they even have outer sea boats? 
The legendary Mariner. He's the only man to have ever explored the outer sea and lived to tell the tale. Our mayor knows uh, all the stories about him. Well, you realize that if he's the only one that ever did it, then how do you know he's not just making it up? It's kind of like in the Bible how somebody just happened to go to hell just so they can come back and tell how terrible it was. It's like, well, then how do you know he actually went there if nobody could ever go there to, like, confirm or corroborate it? He's like, no, it's terrible. I was there. I'm the only one that went there and I saw it. It's the same thing um, like with that episode of uh, South Park where they are uh, talking about... What was the dude's name? Was it just John Smith? Just a generic name who discovered... Uh, the founder of Mormonism. Uh, he'd be like, you know, they're like, I saw the thing and I was the only one that saw it. So nobody can, like, confirm it or anything. Uh, the mayor originally came from central Windia. Maybe he's homesick for some Windian cooking? That, that episode, uh, it sounds like it's making fun of uh, Mormons, and it kind of is, but then it actually has a good message that um, our staple food's fish, you know, but the mayor, he doesn't like fish ever since he got sick. Now he hardly speaks to anyone. Oh, he's so sick. He's too sick to talk to us, I guess. If I tell the story again, you're just going to give me more of that nasty fish to eat, aren't you? If all they've got for me to eat is fish, well, I'll just sit here and starve to death. I will. When I'm dead, put my ashes in the Mikesis River. Is there anything that can be done to cheer him up? Uh, when I'm dead, okay. Uh, it sounds like it's making fun of Mormonism. It kind of is, but then uh, it actually has a good message where basically uh, just because someone believes something that sounds silly or whatever doesn't mean that they're bad people, and it mean doesn't mean that you can't be friends with them. And uh, yeah, uh, Stan meets uh, this other kid whose uh, family, him and his family are all Mormons, and uh, they're all nice and shit, but he just, uh, you know, he he learns the story and he's like this is so ridiculous I can't believe it or whatever and then at the end he's just like well I was nice I'm happy my family's happy you know it, we're we're not doing any harm to anybody so so what's the big deal that we believe something that you think is stupid I mean what, what if it is stupid who cares it, it has a good message or whatever uh, to be like nice to people and shit uh, you want to cross the outer sea why would you want to do such a dangerous thing? I actually don't know uh, what's in the Book of Mormon. I've actually never read any of it, so I don't know. I don't know what the actual message is. I'm assuming it's good stuff, but then again, everybody assumes the Bible is like good stuff, but there's a lot of death and whatnot. A lot of death and God killed a lot of people. They'd be like, oh, you must. Oh shit. They're like, God is mad at these people, so now everyone must put lamb's uh, blood above their doorway so God knows which children to kill. You know, like that kind of thing. Like, God's just killing innocent children just because of shit their parents did or didn't do or whatever. Got a coin, alright, cool. So it's like, that doesn't make a lot of sense to just kill innocent people. I thought, I thought that uh, the Bible says that uh, I knew you while you were in the womb. Like, people that our Christians usually don't like abortion because like you can't kill an innocent baby it's like well God himself killed the firstborn of the people that didn't have the lamb's blood when the you know on was it Passover was is that I don't remember uh, the owner of this inn looks like he's got some of our blood in him uh, either that or he ate too much fish and ended up like that ha 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 we may be by the sea but these weapons won't, won't rust guaranteed all right We've actually got, um, oh shit, a whole bunch of shit we can't afford, yay! I never knew what a B plate was for the longest time, I'm pretty sure that's breastplate. Oh shit, why do they have this here? It's weird. Okay, I think I'm still gonna stick with the feather sword, I think I still have the feather sword on Tom. I'm not gonna spend no 6500, fuck that. Uh, Ruby Scepter, uh, it's not that much better for 3200. Tiger Claws, is that for, um, is that for Pico? It seems like it'd be for Pico, I think. Okay, 112 to 125, that would be good. It's hella expensive, though. Okay, 112 to, man, but the, the fucking, um, the agility goes down. 
12. Okay, this is kind of not worth it. The only thing that kind of seems worth it is maybe the, some of these. I can only afford one. Should I buy one? Let's look at... Oh, wait. That was weapons and armor, so this is going to be items. All right. Hey, sweet. I don't have any of these. Yeah, I saw it in the... Um, I saw it in the Manilo shop. Uh, actually, four should be good. You can actually trade some shit for these uh, things that I'd never seen before, so I thought these were going to be... Um, like Manilo only items, but apparently not. Oh, we don't have healing herbs now. That's fine. Let's not uh, spend too much money and then not be able to afford um, this uh, breastplate. Actually, did I already spend too much? Damn it! That's fine. I can sell something. I gotta have shit to sell, right? Uh, brass helm. I got that grinding. Um. I'm not 100% sure what I can sell. Actually, does Pico already have the best shit? I think he does. You know what? There's no way I'm going to switch to the, um... There's no way I'm going to switch to these. The, uh, the sleep shells are already, like, so much stronger. No, I don't have the feather sword. Do I have something better than... Oh, this is a one, uh... I kind of don't want to get rid of that unless I absolutely need to. It says drains, it says drain life. Does it drain my life or does it drain life when I hit them, I wonder? I guess I'll try that. I didn't equip it because I assumed that it would be, uh, drain my own life, but it might be drained their life. I mean, it's what, 60, 100, right? Alright, it's just enough. Oh, fuck. I thought it was going to say anything else, that's why I hit, I hit triangle, but I forgot that it gives you the option to equip it right away, which is nice. Uh, who's going to get it, though? I mean, that's 13. Okay, not her. Her, her robe is actually stronger. I'm going to give it to... Uh, I'm going to give it to Momo. Uh, her defense is about the same as Tom's. I think it was a little bit lower. But her HP is low as shit. Yeah, Tom's actually got a lot of HP. I think uh, maybe Giotto, Giotto uh, maybe had an HP bonus. And I've had him on. I had him on for several levels, so his shit got really high up, or high or whatever. Uh, okay. The guild people they buy the fish here, yeah? and bring us bread and other things we be needing. Woof! Yay! You be Porter's guild people use new ones, ain't ya? Don't freaking worry about it. Uh, hmm. The legendary mariner. There's not a sailor in the world who doesn't know the story. I remember the mayor seemed to know a lot about him. Yeah, but the mayor's being a little fucking bitch. He's like, no, I, I won't tell you, just do we. I'm just gonna sit here until I starve. It's like, wow, it's totally not what, like, a four-year-old would, would try to do. Put a little fucking stunt like that. Like, you're, like, you're gonna starve to make a point to your freaking parents who pay for everything, by the way. <laughs> I suppose it's better uh, to want to go off to the big city than the outer sea. Yeah, going to a place it, where you're not going to die is better than going to a place where you're going to die. Uh, I can sympathize with the mayor, stuck in this tiny town eating fish every day. Me, I'm going to go to the city and get all the bread I can eat. Because that's way more exciting than fish, right? Actually, fish is actually one of my favorite foods. I don't ever get tired of eating fish. Uh, did I go in here already? Oh, frick, I don't remember. Daddy went out to sea. Oh, he's dead. You folks want to cross the outer sea? Why would you want to do such a dangerous thing? Okay. Wait, was I already in here? I don't think I was. I think that was just em uh, empty, just on its own. Like, I didn't get a thing from there already. Oh boy, I was here already, damn it. Maybe I just bypassed that house. What the hell do I have to do uh, to this? Maybe it's a. Uh, came from Central Windia. Maybe he's homesick for some Wendy and cooking. Okay, that was my hint. I was like, maybe I got a fish, you know, but uh, the man, he doesn't like fish ever since he got sick. Okay. So I think it means that he got sick and now he just doesn't like fish, perhaps? Have you ever had it where uh, your taste in foods changes after you get sick? Uh, I, I noticed that um, 
I noticed that several times throughout my childhood. It actually hasn't happened lately. Well, I, I don't really get sick nowadays ever since I started eating organic. Uh, you know, not a million percent, but for the most part. Um, I noticed that uh, that uh, my favorite candy bar would change when I got sick. I would just start to... That would be when I would just start to not like it that much anymore. And I would, I would start liking another one way more. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, uh, so, so where the hell am I going? Oh, I guess I would need to go to Rapala. And I could also bypass that stupid fucking volcano, which would be nice. It is nicer than crossing that mountain area on the left side of the map. Where the hell can I park the thing? Oh, here I guess. I thought there was, I was looking for like a dock, like, thing or whatever, like a physical actual dock. That's fine. But, uh, it's more, it's less annoying than that because there's no fights in the volcano. It only takes a few seconds to walk past it. Uh, I'm dumb. It's this way, der. Okay. Oh, boy. Wonder where, oh, we, do we have to go back to the castle again? Jeez. I don't think we're going to be welcome into the castle. Oh, maybe maybe now we're gonna get uh, that chef dude to be a master. I wonder. Hmm. You know, since I'm here or going back or whatever, since I thought that I had confirmed the the thing with the star at the camp, um, I'm actually gonna swap out. Uh, I'm gonna bring in Pico and see if um, Momo actually did uh, did learn her final thing or whatever. And I just didn't uh, realize it because I thought I was I thought I could check from camping, but then I discovered that that's actually not true. All right, so let's check it out. Ah, oh, damn it. I think he just gives you a wisdom fruit. No, no. Oh, fuck. I'm not sure. I think I, do you have to talk to it again? Okay, so I actually got two jams. Uh, learn shield. Alright. I think that's three things, I think, right? Because I learned sanctuary before, right? I'm just going to check one more time. Hopefully I didn't waste any uh, levels with her. Oh, fuck. Okay. So that's all with uh, that's all with this dude. For now. Now let's camp and check to see if we have a star. And if so, I could change her master. I could give her... Uh, and I don't know. I guess we could also check... Um, check DS... See if uh, she's ready yet. I'm not actually sure what you have to do to activate her being able to... Or activate her not being tired anymore. Son of a bitch. Alright, well, we're done with you, Jocil. Hopefully, I, I mean, I don't know how many levels I wasted with that, but I guess it's fine. You don't have to do the shit a billion percent correctly. I've been keeping pretty good track, so it's not the end of the world, I suppose. Cast a random magic spell. It's all targets defense. Okay. Kind of wish that uh, his thing would have been, like, better. His, like, best uh, move or whatever skill. Alright, so we can switch out. Um... Okay, put Nina back in. She still has to learn uh, Bunyan. Sh should I bring Pico with me? I don't have his best uh, weapon. I can't afford it. But I use... Hmm. I feel like Pico's not going to be really that useful until I get his best weapon at the very least. So maybe I should use Ray until I get some money built up and then buy the Tiger Claws for Pico. I don't know. Oh, I guess if I started using Pico, I'd have to give... I'd have to walk it somewhere and get a Master for him. I don't, I don't feel like doing that right now. Um... What the fuck did they just... Oh, Windy, yeah, jeez. 
No, I'm, I'm good at video games. No, you gotta believe me. Jeez. I don't know. Okay, just scatterbrained here for a second. Oh, fuck. Let's save just to be sure. I don't know what's gonna happen when we go inside. I don't know if it's, like, gonna be, like, a thing like in Mario RPG where we're just, like, we're gonna have to fight some... fight food or something. I don't fucking know. You'd be like, oh, it's my best creation yet, and then it, like, attacks us. Jeez. I don't want to get a game over because I was like, oh, I didn't think I would need to save. But I should have just saved. I've played enough RPGs, man. You gotta save. Save early, save often, man. Don't be losing that data. Don't be losing that progress. That's for, that's for fucking rooks. It's for fucking scrubs and plebs. Okay. So, in the next one, I guess we're at an episode, so... In the next one, we'll go inside and uh, find out what's in store. And... I think we're gonna give him the fish, and, or we're gonna give him something, and then he's gonna... I'm pretty sure he gives us a map, and then we're probably gonna spend the whole next episode failing at the ship minigame. Because steering... You gotta, like, steer the ship. You're gonna be... We're gonna have, like, 30 seconds to, uh... To steer in, in all the shallow areas, or whatever. There's, like, shallow spots that you're gonna have to navigate. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, we'll do it next time. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.